Hi, my name is Mary Benson. You may have heard that this May there will be millions, maybe billions, possibly trillions of an insect called cicadas coming among us. But not to worry, cicadas are only about this big and they don't sting or bite. The cicadas have been growing up under the ground for the last 17 years. When they come up out of the ground, they look like a grubby, brown, some would say ugly bug. But then the magic happens. The old skin cracks open and the adult cicada comes out looking like a completely new insect with wings. When it first comes out, it's soft, white, and fragile, a little like a fairy. But when the body and the wings harden, it looks like this. Pretty cool, I think. Cicadas are harmless, but they are loud. One cicada in a tree can sound as loud as a lawnmower. A tree full of cicadas can sound as loud as a low-flying airplane. Here's my cicada puppet named Buzz. He's a lot bigger than a real cicada. Well, Buzz, are you excited for your 17-year reunion? I sure am. I haven't seen my family in 17 years. I hope that they recognize me. You know, I, th I thought you would be a little louder. You know, you're one of the loudest insects on the earth. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but we are not big mouths. We have a special organ called a timbal on our abdomen. That makes all the racket. Oh. I have to make sure all the lady cicadas can find me. Oh, I'm sure they will. If you would like to make this cicada puppet, here's how. This is everything you need to make your very own 17-year cicada puppet. First, you need a big black pom-pom. This one is two and a half inches. If you don't have one that big, <clears throat> excuse me, you can use a smaller one and then an even smaller one for the head. There's, this is a cardboard tube. You could either use a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube that's been cut down to four inches. And you need a rubber band. When you stretch out the rubber band, it should be about two inches. And pipe cleaners, two pipe cleaners, could be brown, dark brown or black, and red stickers, or it could be any kind of red paper. And you also need wax paper. And you need black paint, um, tacky white glue, glitter or glitter glue, and a paintbrush. Or you could use a sponge applicator, which is easier. Pencil, orange marker, and black marker. And scotch tape and scissors. And also you're going to need a white, a piece of white paper and newspaper or something to cover the table when you paint and use the glitter. And you're all set and ready to go. To make the head, first take one of the pipe cleaners, fold it in half, and cut it at the fold. Set this one aside. Okay, now we're going to turn this one ball into the middle part and a head. So we're going to take this, fold it in half, and we're going to wrap it around maybe like one third of this pom pom and twist it tight. So that gives us a head and this part of the body, which is called the thorax. Okay, so now you have some two little antennas, antennae, 
and you have a head and the body. Of course, if you don't have this huge pom-pom, you can just glue two small black, I mean a small one and a medium one together. All right, so to make sure this doesn't, this doesn't slip, you can put a little glue where it touches the pom-pom. Always use tacky glue. It doesn't take as long to dry. Thicker top. It attaches to Okay, and hopefully it will dry clear. Alright, so for the eyes, these are red stickers, but you can use any kind of red paper. They have very, very bright red eyes. Okay. So that was a little big. You could just use the whole sticker, but I wanted them slightly smaller. So I'm gonna cut these out. And I could peel off the back and stick it on, but I think I might just glue it on. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get that off. There's his eye. And eyes go on each side of the head, sort of toward the sides. Like that. Now for the legs. For the legs, you take the other pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and cut. So you should have three pieces. Now, we all know how many legs insects have, right? <laughs> we all know that they have six legs. So we're gonna fold these again. This will be two legs, and two more legs, and two more legs. And we're going to glue them to the thorax, because that's where insect legs attach to it. So to put the legs on, take one of these, and we're gonna try to make it look like that particular insect's legs. They fold down like that, and then out a little bit in the front. These are like their toes. And then we need to put glue, big glob of glue, and attach it to the thorax. Stick it with the glue. Uh, you're gonna have to let it dry, so I put it right on its back. Oops. So these can dry. Right, so the same with the other leg, other legs. Okay, so they go out like that, then down and out, and out like that. It's like these are their knees and these are their feet. All right, another big glob of glue. You can push the fur from the pom-pom around it to hold it. Okay, and then the back legs, it is the same shape, like bend the knee, bend the foot, bend the knee, bend the foot. But these stick out, whoops, <laughs> these stick out sort of the opposite of the other ones, like that. So they're pointing that way instead of that way. Another big glob of glue. This way. That way they'll be, it'll be able to stand up when it's dry. Now these we have to set aside to dry. Put them right on his head. Now we're going to do the abdomen, which is this part, the third part of an insect's body. And the first thing I'm gonna do is squeeze this end like that. Squeeze it together and use tape. You could also use a stapler if you have one handy. So I'm gonna tape it together. We want that shape. Then, take your scissors and cut off 
triangle shape cut. Because insect abdomens come to a more like a point. Now it is ready for a rubber band. This is going to be the way that you can operate this puppet. You put the rubber band around close, maybe about an inch from this end. And once it's finished, you're going to put your finger into there to hold the puppet and they can move. So to keep this in the right place, we're going to tape it just along the top because we have to be able to slip our finger in at the bottom. Now it is ready to be painted. All right, I'm going to use this because it's quick. <laughs> All right, quick and easy. Let's do is put some on here, the applicator, and go right over the scotch tape and the rubber band. And this part is not going to show very much because the wings are going to be covering it. So you don't have to worry too much about the paint job. Ooh, that's a lot. And that should take care of the whole rest. to set this aside to dry. The now dry abdomen. And we're gonna put glue, big globs of glue on the edge. And we're gonna stick it right onto the thorax and make sure that the part of the rubber band that is free where you can put your finger in is on the bottom. And you just push the two together. You can pull some of the fur from the pom-pom down. And now, to make the wings. First, take a look at the wings. It goes flat here. We're gonna have to draw this. And and around here to here. Okay, so it's very big wings. It extends pretty far beyond the end of the insect. I'm using the insect body to help figure out how big to make the wings. And then connect them with a half circle. And then to get the other wing, turn over the insect body. And connect it with the half circle. Put a little round circle here. And on this side here, this is where it actually attaches to the insects, the insect's body right there. And if you look at this one, it's got some orange, an orange area there, and then a long vein that's orange here. And the same, the other side, orange up here at the top, and then orange going down here. All right, and then, you can draw some of the veins in the wing. What do you think? Something coming out big like that. Like that. Think of the veins of a leaf. Similar to that. Okay. You know, like branching off. 
And put this little line in the middle, because that seems to be in all of them. And some stripes. See the stripes up here. So we'll give them some stripes. Looks like about four. And some stripes here too. Okay. And it and you don't have to worry, it doesn't have to look just like this. You can actually make the vein patterns any way you want. So the next step is to take some wax paper. Okay, and to tape it down onto the paper. Oops. Make sure it covers. Alright. Now what you're gonna do is take the glue and trace around all the black lines. of wax paper go on top of that press down okay. then you take the marker again and go back over the black lines that you can see through the two pieces of wax paper Then get the orange marker and color in the orange areas. Then use the orange marker to draw over the black line. And the circle is colored in with black. And now, for the fun part. You can see I put the glitter in between all the lines, the vein lines. And it's because a lot of times insect wings will glow with sort of rainbow iridescence when they're hit by the sun. So also it makes it prettier. And then we have to wait for it to dry. I actually let this dry overnight. And now to attach the wings. Okay, you might notice that the, orange, the long orange line is on the bottom. So when we put these wings on, I'm gonna put the long orange line will be on the bottom. And we put the glue on the other side of the black dot, black circle, and put a big glob. Then we're going to attach it to the, the front of the cardboard tube. 
that's where the glue should attach. And so, oh, so part of it should project onto this side. Okay, there. Okay, and if you notice, um, this goes straight and then down, so try to angle this the same way. So it's straight and then down. Okay, so let's try the other side. The other side of the black circle. to attach a little bit of this right this area here both wings glue them to each other and that will keep it in the right position so I put some glue right about there push the wings together and hold for a few seconds To use this as a puppet, turn it over and there's the rubber band. I left it a little bit unpainted so I can find it easily. Enjoy your puppet! Oh look! Buzz has a new friend! And get ready for the invasion of the teenage cicadas! <laughs> 